Let's talk about how to remove painted backgrounds on fish aquariums. A lot of times in this hobby, what people do is they paint the background of their fish tank. It's one of the easiest, cheapest alternative backgrounds there is. Here's the back of my entertainment center. And yes, I did paint the back of all those fish tanks. And the reason is it's cheap, it's easy, and uh, it's, it's not that bad to remove this stuff. So guys, um, by the way, give this video a like and please subscribe to this channel. Fish tanks is my lifestyle. As you can see, this house is full of fish tanks and live plants, house plants, what have you. If you like that kind of thing, um, consider subscribing to this channel or my main channel, Palmer Aquatics. Um, I have multiple channels, but guys, let's take a look. I'll flip the cam and I'll tell you the little backstory on this tank and why we're removing the painted background off the back of it. All right, so somebody gave me this tank for free, tank and stand completely free. And the reason is because it's kind of beat up, it needs a lot of cleanup, but that's what I do. I'm the DIY king. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not the DIY king. That's Joey. But anyways, um, the story behind this tank is it's super dirty. There's a lot of uh, sediment. There'll also be a video coming out on how to clean up old, crusty, uh, used tanks. But um, let's talk about this painted background. So this is a painted blue background, as you can see. And you can kind of, um, you can see the back of it. I don't have a ton of room to get back here. But... Let's see if I can move this out a little bit here. Ugh. This is a six foot long aquarium, 125 gallon tank. Um, so essentially the reason I'm removing this background is because I don't like the blue and I'm kind of a black background junkie. And uh, this whole space in my household, I want to be more of kind of like earth tony greens and blacks and such. And I'm painting this accent wall green. I'm gonna repaint the kitchen. Um, that's a hideous blue, but uh, I'm trying to vibe out the situation in here and this blue just I'm not digging it So I'm either gonna do a black background or a green one uh, but uh, Yeah, moving on. I'll show you guys uh, I've tried a couple different tricks now when removing this background and I found the easiest thing and I figured why not do a video on it? Because I want to help the hobby help the world know this this is your tool of choice go to the hardware store and pick this up for like five bucks it comes with uh razor blades with it the newer the razor blade the better this thing is going to be your best friend and essentially what you do here is go on your back of your tank sorry about the view it's not the greatest but uh what you do is literally just run this razor blade through here and this is the easiest thing um you can just see how well it works and literally, you're going to have just paint everywhere. It's a hot mess. And depending on what size your tank is, is going to depend on how much you have to scrape. This one happens to be six feet long. So this kind of does, it's going to suck. This is going to be a task. But as you can see, it's coming off real nice. This isn't rocket science. The trick is to kind of just like come in with one swoop and a lot of brute force, if that makes any sense. I've, I've tried like the chiseling effect. And that's not the best route. Um, what you want to do is just go slow, press down pretty hard, and just make it, try to clear it all in one swoop. Because that way you're going to have a lot less cleanup with like small little tiny shavings. And you're going to have more of a larger flake to clean up. See, as you can see, that is a much, much better method here. Oh yeah, I even wish I would have uh, found this out earlier. That way I wouldn't have to get the vacuum and clean up all these paint chisel flakes, what have you. So, all right, so we're just gonna keep at this. Hopefully this helps you guys if you're trying to figure out how to remove that old, old paint on the back of your tank. Maybe you're thinking of changing colors like in my instance here. And then you're just going to essentially clean up. Sorry, I'm getting carried away here with the views. I really apologize. Um, I'm. The camera's not focusing. I'm trying to like show you guys the gist of how to do this. And it's really hard because this tank is six feet long. And um, guys, literally though, this is the tool of destiny here. And I promise you, this is going to help you figure out uh, or help you get this job done. How to remove painted or latex paint or any kind of spray paint on the back of your aquarium. So this razor blade, the tool of choice, I promise you. Here, let me flip the cam. <clears throat> But yeah, it's just a Saturday morning. I'm a little hungover this morning, if I'm being honest. Uh, I had kind of a crazy night last night. 
uh, but I'm just trying to uh, fight through it and do some cool fish tank stuff. And uh, yeah, if you like this stuff, give this video a like. Shout out to Palmer Aquatics. Shameless plug, that's my channel. I'm also getting a lot into like a lot of uh, uh, house plants and kind of just getting super geeky with this stuff. So without further ado, I think we will finish this video up. Um, please let me know in the comments if this video helped you learn how to remove paint from your aquarium back Ugh, aquarium background. I, I gotta stop this guys. Look at how rough I look. I look like a homeless person.